I've shown you how we, we can quickly make a mini clip just by recording in with the on-screen keyboard. But uh, if we want to have more precise control of things, we want to use the piano roll editor. And we can create a MIDI clip to do that by switching into edit mode. And now on a MIDI track, I can just drag my finger around and say, I want a two bar MIDI clip. And it pops me in immediately. Uh, to get out of this, we hit the next. And to get back into it, we double tap on that. And now still in, we're, we're in draw mode now, so we can just tap something and it, it creates a note. We can tap something again, we get rid of the note. And, but even in just draw mode, we can do a lot of stuff. We can move around, we can pinch and zoom. Um, before I do any more pinching and zooming though, I want to show you the grid setting here. Uh, we could set it, right now it's on 16th. We can set it to dynamic, so when we zoom way in, we get even finer uh, note sizes and we can zoom way out and work with it however we're trying to manipulate things. So let me quickly move things around here, try to find a note range that I want to work in. And now I can just start tapping in a little pattern. And you notice that each of these notes that I've put in have these white markers that let me change the length of the note. And I can also change the length by holding down on a note and then just dragging on it like this. So to create a, a few eighths, I, I do something like this. I can drag it around. I can even drag it up to different notes altogether. But instead of creating these quarter notes and then shrinking them down to eighth notes, we can say explicitly here on the left that my note length that I want is eighth notes. So now when I hit it, we get an eighth note. So. Quickly just throw it in a pattern here and and it's good, right? Now we can select all of these by holding down and now we get this rectangle selector thing and now we can do all kinds of new stuff. We could transpose these or we could tap on it to copy them. And now to paste, I have to hold down and then release to say, this is where I want you to paste to. And now I can transpose that. So now I've taken my first bar, completely copied it, and then transposed down the second bar. Now we're, we're building up a groove. Now, while I've got this selected, I want to show you something here. Uh, you'll notice below the note length, there's also a velocity slider. And when I'm touching this, you can see the velocity values for everything right now. The, the default is uh, 100. Now I can change all of the selected notes. Let me zoom around so you can see these. Uh, all of the selected notes are changing at once. Now, I don't actually want to do that. I just want to show you that because it's kind of cool. To unselect everything, I just tapped and, and now we're, we're out of that. But if I do want to edit my notes, I could say, well, you know what? I want this note right here. Actually, you know, let me delete that. Let's say I want to have a, a ghost note right here, so I'm lowering the velocity a lot. Now when I tap this, you'll see that that one got a much lower velocity value than everything else just right off the bat. As soon as I tapped it, it's got a much lower velocity value. If we want to have even finer control over things, though, if you tap the note button at the top, you get a new menu. And we can switch from note mode into note velocity mode. And now we can actually draw in exactly how we want all these notes to sound. So using the uh, little preview thing at the bottom, we can easily scroll around and find the, the notes that we want to change. And now we've added a little bit of dynamics to our little loop here. You may have noticed that there's a lot of other options here when we hit the note button. Now we can change into control change or program change for actual MIDI messages. And the whole array of different control change options are available to us. And what you can actually do will depend on what you're plugged into. So in this case, I'm plugged into uh, Poison 202. And I know that that's going to listen to control change messages for modulation wheel. And that'll make for a good example here because it's going to sound super weird when I do this. So I say, I'm now in control change for uh, velocity, or for modulation wheel. I can now hold down, and I'm now in draw mode. I can 
draw in some some goofy little thing here. I'm going to draw in uh, a slider thing here to send it back down to zero. So it's going to sound weird. It's going to sound really weird, and then it's going to sound calm into the second bar. And now, if we decide that we don't like that, we're sounding too weird, we can switch into edit mode now, where we can hold down and start changing the values of these. Or if we want, we can even move them around by dragging on the dot. And if you decide that you do not want whatever you've done, you can just tap on the dots to remove them, or even drag your finger around to remove a whole bunch at once. <laughs> 